and get something done, which I've been wanting to do for a long time now. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. the dentists and get something done which I've been wanting to do for a long time now I am getting drama Invisalign <laughs> I've been umming and ahhing about this probably for a few years now my teeth have always kind of bothered me I mean they're not terrible but like these two point in um, the top two face back a little bit especially you can tell like when I'm turn to the side. It might not seem like that much of a big deal to other people, but for me, I really notice it. So when we're taking pictures, um, when we're out with friends, I never give like a big smile or anything. I always usually smile with my mouth closed in pictures. I mean, not real life, I'm not like crazy. <laughs> Being as Carlos and I have our wedding together in one year from now, uh, actually a little bit longer than a year from now, I would really like just not to feel self-conscious at all, to be able to smile, a great big smile on my wedding day and have wonderful pictures and not feel self-conscious. So I made the decision coming here in Singapore that I was just gonna do it. Downside is in Singapore it's like the most expensive place to do a misline. It was more expensive than doing it in the UK and also Spain, definitely in China. Anyway, it's where I am at the moment, so it's where I have to get it done. About this appointment, I think this appointment is the one where they put the little like attachments on your teeth, which I think takes more or less um, an hour, an hour or so to do. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not like having a tooth pulled out or anything like that. I just really hate the dentist. <laughs> you know, some people have, I don't know, some people have like icks about certain things, and whenever anyone does anything with teeth, for me. <sighs> yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't watch it uh, or think about it. So anyway, being a baby, it'll be absolutely fine. I just get that sort of like anxious feeling of not wanting to go. But I already made the commitment and I paid the money, so I'm going. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everything is fine. I already did all the scans and everything like that. So I went for my consultation. She told me it should take maximum a year, hopefully a little bit sooner than that. So I have the scans done and then they give all of your information about your teeth, your alignment, everything to Invisalign. Invisalign make you custom aligners and it takes about two weeks, at least here in Singapore, for them to come back. And then they put the attachments on your teeth, as far as I know, and put the aligners in and that's it. And you have to wear them for at least 22 hours of the day. You only take them out to um, eat and clean them. So for me, the weirdest thing that I'm a bit apprehensive about is going to sleep wearing aligners because one time I remember I used to grab my teeth and I had to wear a, a mouth guard kind of thing. I put it in and then I went to sleep and I could not sleep. I couldn't sleep because it was in my mouth. It was, it was never going to happen. So I pray that that doesn't happen with this situation. I'm not putting it off. Let's go start the journey and I'm going to take you through this journey with me. And I'm back. Here's the lowdown. First things first, my speech is different. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to be patient with me. A showed me the scans of what my teeth looked like before, like all the pictures they'd taken. I could see exactly, exactly how my teeth were all the way around. And then they gave me basically like a before and after. So they showed me what Invisalign says that my teeth will look like at the end, which was probably the nicest part of the appointment, <laughs> to be honest. It wasn't the loveliest experience, but it was okay. 
So yeah, she showed me that first, then took me through like how many weeks basically it's gonna take to get to that point. They gave me retainers and basically just explained that every two weeks we would change to the retainers they gave me. And then after six weeks, they will see how everything's moving and then we can change hopefully every 10 days after that. So <laughs> here are all my retainers. That I but yeah, you can see that they are all labeled. So this one is week two and so on and so forth. So that was the easy part, shall we say? And then let's get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> They gave my teeth like a little bit of a cleaning and obviously they explained that you have to get attachments put on your teeth which I already know because I'd googled the whole process and everything but so yes you have to get attachments that basically are stuck to your teeth that the retainers attach to so that is basically what ends up pulling and moving shifting the teeth so basically the first thing that they do is clean your teeth and then they attach the attachment with glue like it's not going to do any damage to your teeth or anything like that they can take it off um quite easily at the end and they do like a little bit of filing in between your teeth nothing too scary they're not filing your teeth down so they're smaller necessarily they're just making the gaps between your teeth just a teeny tiny little bit bigger so that when they floss the teeth it doesn't get so stuck because she started flossing between my teeth and it was quite hard to go in and out. So then she got these horrible little things. <laughs> she said, I hate the dentist. These are the reasons I hate the dentist. And not because they were bad. Like she's such, such a nice orthodontist actually. And she's so super gentle and lovely. Um, so definitely not her fault. It was just the, it's almost like a teeny tiny little mini saw. <laughs> and they put it between your teeth and just file a little bit. At the end, I have to say my bite still felt different. Um, and she was explaining that it was because the attachments that they stick onto your teeth. So usually your teeth would bite down at the back and, and like come into contact like perfectly. But because there are attachments at the front of my teeth, my bite would go down and it was hitting, the front teeth were hitting the attachments before the back could fully close. Um, so that feels a bit strange, but she said not to worry too much about it because your bite and everything is going to change throughout the whole process anyway. It's supposed to, at least, especially for me, because um, my bite is a little bit like back. And I think it's just a case of getting used to having something in your mouth all the time. And obviously the speech, your speech is different and you can't pronounce S's properly, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Let's see how it goes. Uh, gave me the general instructions, like you can't, uh, you need to clean it basically every time that you eat or drink anything. Staining. I think I'm going to stay away from my turmeric lattes for a while, to be honest. And that's about it. They gave me some instructions, care instructions and tooth brushing and how to clean them. You basically just clean them with water. So yeah, hopefully it'll improve and I'll get more used to it. And I will keep you updated on the process. <laughs> Again. It is Friday. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not Friday. Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> it's day two of having wine with line in, and it is 10 o'clock. We are currently at the shops by Marina Bay, which, if you haven't been to before, is all your like luxury high end shops in here. Um, you've got like Gucci, Versace, Dior, Chanel, Rolex, all that kind of thing. We're actually on our way to go see an MMA, MMA <laughs> that's what you had to say, an MMA, a UFC fight. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Yeah, a UFC fight that um, Carlos really wants to see because it is who v who. Tell me. Wokanowski, which is Australian, versus Topuria, which is Spanish. Okay, so Australia v Spain. So naturally, we are rooting for Spain. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Australia. 
and we just thought we'd walk through the mall first because as you could see there were really beautiful and very cool decorations for Chinese New Year. Yeah, it's quite sunny actually. It's another beautiful sunny day in Singapore. Let me show you. a beautiful spot and such a beautiful walk along here and somebody has had a fantastic idea to do their morning exercises in front of the famous apple store that you can see here good idea can i let somebody know me better i thought that i would miss her more but i wake up and i feel better so let somebody let somebody let somebody go we've been going on forever there's no more crying on the floor and she said it's now or never so i let somebody let somebody let somebody go Ooh. i let somebody let somebody let somebody go Ooh. Somebody know me better I thought that I would miss her more But I wake up and I feel better Cause I let somebody, let somebody, let somebody go We've been going on forever There's no more crying on the floor Amazing! Just say goodbye to my bike <laughs> um, And it's really good, you just have to close it on the app And then just scan this little barcode here And you're done! Let's go watch the fight. What? Okay, so like we said, it's Spain versus Australia. We're in an Australian cafe full of Australian people. Not a cafe, definitely not a cafe. I think Carlos is the only Spanish person here, so celebrating any kind of Spanish win is going to be interesting. <laughs> Go. Hello again. Um, so as you can see, we're back home now, and you probably noticed before that Spain won the fight. Woohoo! It's actually, it was actually a pretty big deal, or so I'm told. I mean, obviously, I don't really have much of a clue about this stuff, but Carlos is very dialed in. But the guy who won the fight is now the world champion, which I get that, that's a big deal. But the other thing is that um, there hasn't been a Spanish world champion before, I think. <laughs> so, normally expected that. I was saying to Carlos, he should have put a bet on it or something because everyone was thinking that the Australian champion was gonna win but then Spain brought it home. Anyway, we're just, we've come home now. We were gonna go for a little evening stroll but as you, can, as you might be able to tell, it started storming now. Let me see if I can actually show you. <gasps> Did you see the lightning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. You heard it. I wasn't joking. That was the thunder. The lightning is coming. I don't know. Maybe it's the universe telling me that it's time to end this vlog. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you found it kind of interesting, learning a little bit more about Invisalign, and if that doesn't interest you, then I hope you found it interesting following us on my little cycling route and seeing the nice things that we saw along the way. I'll try and put down in the description below exactly where we went give you a little bit of an idea of the route in case you want to try it out for yourself. If you have any comments for me or you want to... <laughs> so loud, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Crazy. As for now, I'm gonna love you and leave you and definitely watch the next video. I'll release it in a few days time. It's gonna be us going to Thailand, to Bangkok, and we're gonna go explore some amazing temples in Ayutthaya as well. So it's going to be a good one to see. So hang on for that one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Mwah.